And Mr. Tweed, you've got to help me now. I always listen to the prettiest and most ambitious entertainer I have here. But it doesn't follow that I'm going to agree with her schemes. But he did strike it, Rich. He was bringing it in on a sled. Oh, Rocky. When you know this country better, you'll I already know it. Plenty. You'll catch on. How half the sourdoughs in Skagway. They, they, they lie about their rich strikes just to be important. But a dying man isn't going to make up a cock and bull story. In a couple of weeks, the snow's going to melt off that sled. Then the first chump who stumbles onto it, it's going to be finders keepers. How much? He said a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Heavy enough to break down his sled. Why should he tell you all this? Because he wanted to marry me. He told you where the sled is? It's within a mile of a certain cabin. Where is that? That's my business. Look, Mr. Tweed, I can't go to the Yukon alone. I need the best guiding equipment. For $3,000, I can hire Count Meshikov, the Russian. You put up the money, and I'll cut you in for 10%. Before the Sardo died, you married him? You're his lawful widow? No. He named me as his heir. Before witnesses? You don't think he'd tell a thing like that in front of anybody, do you? Then you've no more right to that gold than the next fellow. I told you, it's finders keepers. Not with my money. I believe I mentioned, Ernie, your patronage in this bar is not welcome. Now get out! Come on, get out.